Okay, today I'm going to talk about some vocabulary for healthcare workers. So how do you pronounce different words having to do with healthcare using standard American English? And so to do this, I am looking at a website um, that could be very helpful to you called EnglishClub.com uh, then slash English for work slash medical vocabulary and there's some dashes in there so I'm just going to post the link down below where you can actually click on it um, and it has a list of vocabulary from A to Z and so I'm going to go through some of these to help you out and explain the ones that might be hard and why and how to fix it okay so um, the first word is abnormal abnormal so abnormal that the stress is on the first one abnormal for instance, the sentence might be, um, you, uh, this growth on your arm is abnormal, or this amount of weight gain is abnormal, abnormal. Ache, A-C-H-E, ache, that's a pain, you have a pain somewhere, ache, that shouldn't be a hard one. Acute, so spelling wise that can be tricky. Just remember that cute part, how you say it when someone is cute, it's with a K-Y-U sound, like cute, not coot, cute, acute. And the stress is on the second half, acute, meaning very serious, right? Okay, and then allergy, allergy, stress is on the first one, the first syllable, allergy, 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 what could be tricky in there for you, allergy. Well, the L's, yes, make sure you're not saying allergy, or that would be hard to do. Um, make sure it's an L, not an R, allergy. And allergic, so when it changes to allergic, meaning she is allergic, um, becomes a, an adjective, kind of. Uh, um, she's allergic to this. Um, then the stress goes from the first syllable to the second, allergic. Allergy, allergic. Allergy, noun, allergic, adjective. So let's see here. Ambulance, yes, that's part of healthcare, unfortunately. Ambulance, again, it's a noun and the stress is on the first syllable. Ambulance, ambulance, ambulance. So that B, that BU in the middle, again, there's a Y in front of that. Ambulance, um, it's not ambulance, ambulance. Often there's a kind of a Y sound when there's an U in the middle, uh, when there's a U in the middle of the word, there's a Y sound before it. Ambulance, ambulance. Okay, let's see. Amnesia, amnesia. When people lose their memory, amnesia. That S in there, it's not an S, not amnesia or amnesia. It's a Z, that kind of a ZH kind of sound, like there is in treasure. Amnesia. Stress on the second syllable. Amnesia. It's a noun. Uh, she has amnesia. So amputate. Okay, we've got that U in the middle of the word, and it's surrounded by consonants, so there's kind of a Y sound in front of it. Amputate. Not amputate. 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 Um, and that's a verb. And the stress is still on the first syllable. Amputate. Anemic, again, stress in the middle of the word, anemic. Um, she's anemic. She doesn't have enough red blood cells. She's anemic. Um, let's see, antibiotics. I think I talked about this one in another video. Antibiotics, antibiotics. That's a long one. Um, the stress is actually near the end. Antibiotics, otics, the second to the last, antibiotics because it has so many um, syllables. So, antibiotics. Let's see, antidepressant. Antidepressant, again, another long word where the stress is on the second to the last syllable. Antidepressants, antidepressants. And you can say antidepressants. Sometimes people will get lazy and say antidepressants, antidepressants, if versus I. Mm, it, it's not gonna matter too much. Antidepressants, antidepressants. Um, but get the other vowels right. Don't say antidepressants or antidepressants or, um, yeah. 
Some vowels in English we are used to being lazy with and people will understand it and other vowels you can't be lazy with. If it's a vowel that will significantly change the sound of the word or the meaning of the word, you can't get it wrong. So anyway, appointment, appointment, stresses on that middle one, appointment, appointment. Um, yes, the T is kind of soft in there, appointment. But it's okay if you make it pronounced appointment, appointment. Don't leave it out. Appointment, appointment, appointment. It's got to be in there. Appointment, appointment, appointment. Uh, don't leave it out in the middle. Don't leave it out on the end. Appointment, appointment, appointment. It's got to be there. Both T's, appointment. Um, arthritis, arthritis. R, get your R right. If you say arthritis, arthritis. Arthritis, arthritis. You can't do that. <laughs> Has to be arthritis, arthritis, arthritis. Then of course there's the th in the middle there. Make sure you get your th and don't put an f. Arthritis, arthritis. No, it's got to be th. Arthritis. Time between the teeth. Arthritis, which can be tricky because it's a thr blend. So thr, your tongue has to go. Out between the teeth and then back arthritis 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 and make sure you get your other vowels right too i and i arthritis not arthritis uh it has to be arthritis that i i i short sort of a short i sound i arthritis long i short i how do you know one is long and one is short you just have to learn it. <laughs> so arthri, long I sound, tis, short I sound, arthritis. All right, asthma. Okay, asthma, it's, you know, when people have a hard time um, breathing, blockage of the airways. So asthma, it's spelled A-S-T-H. How do we say it? With an A-Z. Why? Just because. So, it's not asthma, like you might think just by looking at it. It's asthma. Asthma. A-Z-M-A, pretend. Asthma. Um, and then that uh on the end. One thing I've noticed is sometimes people will get confused about those final vowels. I'm going to do another video on this. And instead of doing uh at the end, they're doing ah. Uh, asthma. Asthma. No, it's uh. It has to be the uh. Asthma. If you say asthma, people won't know what you're talking about. That's one of those vowels you have to get right. And I'll do another video on those final vowels. Um, asthma. 